springtime is springing april showers are incoming but we also have april nintendo switch games to talk about today we're going to talk about all of the biggest and latest games coming to the nintendo switch in the month of april 2022 a lot of bangers on this list a lot of potential really good games too so we're going to go over and talk about these games and what i think about them to see if you would like to purchase them if this is your first time on the channel hit that subscribe button like comment and share if you really enjoyed the video but without any further ado let's jump into this list and we're starting things off with lego star wars the skywalker saga coming to us on april 5th now i will be using some footage from my buddy 8-bit eric 8 be because they're very weird about these games as far as like showing a trailer they'll copyright claim you because god forbid you promote their game but lego star wars the skywalker saga is actually pretty interesting because it's not just a compilation of all the previous lego star wars games that they have done for the skywalker saga basing it on the movies of course it's actually all completely redone and reimagined and revisited to sort of bring a brand new experience now i'm not the biggest star wars fan in the world i enjoyed the original trilogy you know darth maul was cool i still haven't really watched the other movies the newer ones or whatever but i am interested in this i think the lego games are very fun when you're a fan of the source material and i think i'm a fan enough to enjoy what lego star wars brings to the table lego star wars the skywalker saga on april 5th also on april 5th we have mob the show 2022 now this game actually got a bit of a trial on the nintendo switch i did not check that out because i was just busy playing other stuff but i did hear that the graphics of the game left a lot to be desired allegedly they have been working on the graphics since that initial play test of the game but I mean, this is like the first time we've gotten an actual baseball simulation game on the system thus far. We had the RBI baseball games. We had some more arcade style baseball games. And I mean, those were fine. But MLB The Show is kind of considered to be, you know, the top tier of baseball simulation games. Obviously, we're getting a baseball season this year. So that's pretty cool. You'll want to play it on your Nintendo Switch, I'm sure. I'm just hopeful that they did clean up the graphics. Now, this game does have cross-platform play which I think is a very cool thing. So you can play with your friends on the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X. So it's a game to keep an eye on. As long as the performance of the game manages to hold up, I think MLB The Show will be a really fun game when it comes out on April 5th. On April 7th, we have Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. Now, this game actually released on other platforms. Kind of a graphically intensive game. I'm not really sure the gameplay style, but I'm going to take a wild guess here and say since you are Sherlock Holmes, you're, you're probably solving mysteries. That's kind of what he does with, with Watson, elementary, my dear Watson. So I, I'm sure that's what the gist of this game is. We've seen other Sherlock Holmes games come out over the past few years. They seem to be somewhat well-received if you're a fan of, you know, slower paced, more mystery sort of based games. And I think this could be a fun game. You know, I didn't check this out on other platforms. Maybe I'll end up checking it out on the Switch. Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter, April 7th. Also on April 7th, we have Chinatown Detective Agency. Now, I wasn't too familiar with this game until I was researching games for this video. And this actually looks pretty cool if you're a fan of point-and-click adventure games. It's essentially a point-and-click adventure game set in a cyberpunk dystopian setting because... I mean, we're supposed to be getting towards the cyberpunk era, and after Cyberpunk 2077, people are trying to make a better cyberpunk experience. I like the aesthetic of this game. I'm not the biggest fan of point-and-click adventure games. It was a genre that was primarily on, like, 90s PCs, and because of that, I never really super got into it. But this does look interesting for fans of the genre. Chinatown Detective Agency, you might want to check it out on April 7th. Also on April 7th, we have Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers edition. Now, I expect this game to sell like a million copies with how many fans of it there evidently are. Even though the original Chrono Cross didn't even break a million sales on the PlayStation 1, everyone was a fan of Chrono Trigger, so they see that Chrono name. But, you know, it's a new era, and everyone's going to buy this game, and it's going to be the best-selling RPG of all time because there are so many Chrono Cross fans, at least on Twitter. I've actually never played this game. I'm pretty sure I own it for the PlayStation 1. Never got around to checking it out, though. I do hear it is a good game. You have a lot of extra stuff in the Radical Dreamers edition, including a previous unreleased in the united states text-based adventure that sort of does stuff to the story of the game as well hd visuals some quality of life improvements it looks like a really good overall package and if you're a fan of old school rpgs then i expect you to really be interested in this game chrono cross the radical dreamers edition that will sell 50 billion copies according to twitter will be out on april 7th 
and the most important game of April 7th, House of the Dead Remake. I have already purchased the Amazon physical copy of this game. I'm probably going to get the Forever Entertainment copies of this game as well because they're doing like a bunch of weird collector's editions. I need them all because House of the Dead is arguably one of the best light gun games of all time. I love the franchise. I love House of the Dead 2. I love House of the Dead 3. House of the Dead 4 is pretty cool. I love House of the Dead Overkill, I believe it was called, that came out on the Wii. That game was just nuts. But House of the Dead is awesome. Like, it's all you're, you're shooting zombies and stuff, and it looks like they've done a lot of good representation of the original source material within this game and cleaned it up, made it look better, and made it look like a fun experience. There's going to be some new gameplay modes added into the game as well. The big question surrounding House of the Dead Remake is, of course, well, the controls. How are they going to mimic a light gun on the Nintendo Switch? I'm hopeful that they manage to do it. I want to play this game with the IR controls on the Joy-Con because I feel like that's a lot more fun than just dragging a crosshair across the screen with a analog stick or something like this. But I'm super excited for House of the Dead Remake. Definitely my favorite game coming out on April 7th. And hopefully it ends up being a really, really good game. Fans of Silent Hill games might want to check out Tormented Souls, which comes out on April 14th for the Switch, because you're never getting a Silent Hill game. I don't know why we keep talking about Silent Hill. We talked about it like all of 2021. It was a 2022 topic as well. There is no Silent Hill. But what you get is Tormented Souls, which is a Silent Hill-esque experience obviously a survival horror game now this game did release on other platforms got pretty positive reviews i believe the metacritic is around 73 for this game obviously horror games are a subjective genre where you kind of have to be into horror games in order to enjoy them i don't think there's any real sort of gateway horror games that will get you into them it's sort of a genre where you either like it or you don't much like point and click adventure games but I am interested in Tormented Souls. I hope this version of the game is well done because I think it'll be a welcome addition to the Switch library that, you know, could use some more survival horror stuff. Tormented Souls, April 14th. Do you need more Star Wars? Because there's more Star Wars in April. On April 20th, we have Star Wars The Force Unleashed coming to the Switch and... I don't think I ever played this game when it first came out. There was like two versions of the game. There was the Wii version of the game and the Xbox 360 version of the game. The Wii version of the game had like Wiimote controls for it, which made it kind of interesting with the lightsaber. The Xbox 360 version of the game did not, but it had better graphics. It seems like this is the Wii version of the game that's been repolished and brought over to the Nintendo Switch. So there will be those motion controls in the game. Hopefully that's enough to make this game still feel relevant. I'm kind of hesitant about these old Star Wars Wars games because stupid spawn wave made me buy I don't even remember which game it was I think it was Jedi Outcast whatever the first person perspective shooter game was that was Star Wars that came out on the switch that game sucks okay it's, it's not fun it, it's brutally difficult for absolutely no reason I did not like this game but maybe the Star Wars the Force Unleashed will be better Star Wars the Force Unleashed comes out on April 20th Zombie Army 4 Dead War comes out on the switch on April 26th I mean, I'm surprised there's been three games before this in the Zombie Army franchise. Like, it's obviously sort of an alternative take on history. There's, like, Zombie Hitler and stuff like that that you kill, but I don't know. He keeps coming back. I guess it's kind of a fun first-person shooter experience because of the fact that you're just mowing down waves of enemies. It's a, definitely a game that's a looker on other platforms, I feel, so I will be curious to see how this translates over to the Nintendo Switch version of the game, but, you know, games like this definitely have a place. I enjoy some mindless just violence when it comes to my first-person shooters mowing down waves of enemies, so I think this game could potentially be a lot of fun. Zombie Army 4 Dead War on April 26th. And finally, we have a first-party Nintendo Switch game coming to us with Nintendo Switch Sports on April 29th. Now, I got to keep it real. I am, I am super, super excited for this game. I want to play this game very badly because of the fact that, I mean, Wii Sports was definitely a very fun experience. It was that casual experience. Anyone could play it. Anyone could have fun with it. Anyone could enjoy it. And it seems like somewhat the spiritual successor to Wii Sports with the Nintendo Switch Sports. But the thing I'm excited for with this game is the online multiplayer because there is going to be online multiplayer. There's going to be a bunch of different modes that you could do, including playing with randoms. And in my mind, like there's going to be a lot of like little kids playing Nintendo Switch Sports online, which means that the competition level 
is probably going to be a bit low, you know, especially when the game first comes out, which means that I can boost my ego by crushing these children's dreams and playing this game and just absolutely making them question why they're playing games online when there are superior players such as myself online. Look, a dub is a dub, baby. A win is a win. And I don't care who the win is against. As long as I win, I am a happy camper. Obviously, there's a variety of sports that are going to be in this game. You got tennis, soccer, your classic bowling. It looks like a really fun experience. I'm seriously really looking forward to this game, though. Nintendo Switch Sports on April 29th. Alrighty, so those are some of the bangers that are coming out on the Nintendo Switch in the month of April, at least that we know about thus far at the time of the filming of this video. So let me know in the comments section down below what games you plan on checking out, what games you're interested in from this list, and maybe some games that I might have missed. Make sure to let people know if I did miss anything, because I mean, we're a community here in the comments section. Help out your fellow man or woman person so how about your fellow person how about that and as always guys thank you for checking out this video if you are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video be sure to like comment and share it around and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one later